Yo, 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 what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So hope you guys are all having a great day. Now I'm going to mention that this video will be split up into two parts. This one, I'm just going on information and uh, what each spell, each one of these spells do. And then the video that I'll be posting right after this one will be me talking about what I think of each dragon and, you know, what, in my opinion, which dragons will be useful, which ones won't be, and kind of, you know, talk about their spells more in depth. So, let's go and start, and can I just say that PG stop freaking making spells with new names just so we can't put runes on them. Literally, they keep doing this to where we can't put runes on spells, like, sorry, we can't put runes on our dragons for a spell that is exactly the same thing as another spell, just like, you know, the Avix. Avix has, uh, what is it called? The Talon Frenzy. You can't use Chaos Runes for Talon Frenzy, even though it is literally the exact same spell besides the Rage difference. Literally the exact same idea. Stop doing that, PG. It's really annoying because we have so many different runes for these spells, but we can't use it, so we're limited to the amount of runes that we get from the prizes. It, it irritates me. Um, but anyway, okay, so let's just go and get started. <clears throat> I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name. I feel like PG has, like, their criteria for names for these dragons. You know, when they're sitting around the office table, they're like, okay, let's put as many random letters together that make no sense at all. Okay, does is it completely random? Yeah, that's, you know, first check. Second check, can Odin not pronounce it? Oh, if he can't, all right, that's even, yeah, it's like a bonus. You know, you get a bonus in your paycheck. So they come up with these, like, random names that nobody can pronounce. I, 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 at least I can't pronounce, which I'm an idiot anyway so let, anyway let's get started i just rambled for like 20 minutes all right kodal uh this is the sorcerer um thunderbolt which was on a quester it is a white chain bolt uh or sorry chain lightning my apologies you can use the rune from a quester's line which gave like a rage as the primary modifier and then the bolt as a secondary so you can use that on him uh it's just a white chain lightning does a little bit of reduced damage compared to normal red chain lightning but Definitely worth it since it is a white spell. Uh, Northern Lights, which is the light version. There's a light and dark. Uh, this is basically like a buffed up invincibility to rage blue spell. You use it. If there's no blue mage, it gives you. It provides invincibility. Then when the duration of the spell ends, then it like pops. And then you can have different like basically healing marks on the surrounding towers. And you get health back whenever you kill it. Mythic Barrage. Um, sorry, Mystic. This is the one where I said like they're making these... <clears throat> Spells that are exactly the same. I apologize <clears throat> if I keep doing that. Uh, I'm having some sinus stuff. Mystic Barrage basically is like chaos. It increases the damage that the dragon does. But of course, we can't use chaos runes on it. Because that would make way too much sense, obviously. So we can't do that. And then we have the Adaptive Resist. Which I'm assuming will be the same as the others. And it'll provide Dark Flak Resist, um, Fire Turret, and uh, Lightning Towers. So you can switch in between. And it gives you a little bit of rage back whenever you hit the... <clears throat> resist change. It's not bad, uh, but it's it's okay, I guess. All right, this is what everybody cares about. Um, I'm not, I'm gonna try not to give my opinion on this dragon, but Fire Hunter. This is the cloak. Uh, and, I mean, at this point, I don't know why we're surprised. Cloak is on every single freaking divine now. I really wish that they would change it up a little bit. It's like it's so repetitive. Every single hunter that we see in divines in the seasons now has some form of cloak. Whether that be, you know, the, uh, what's it called, um, <clears throat> Flash on Ibreen, or the, uh, Vanish, I think it's called, on Famar, or just plain Cloak. I mean, it's literally all the same thing. It's just Cloak, just different versions of it, you know what I mean? So I think it would be nice if they had some variety, but it is whatever. Uh, then you got Heat Stroke. Now, basically what this does is that it increases your Dragon's damage, and it also leaves Marks. That increases the amount, or sorry, it doesn't increase, but it's basically like a, what the Ballista does to dragons. It poisons towers for a time, and it reduces their health a little bit. So basically, this guy is a moving Ballista. <clears throat> this guy's like a the Hunter version of, of a Ballista. Um, it is a white spell as well. We're not sure about the Rage cost. I'm assuming it's either one or two. I'm hoping that it's one, but knowing PG, they'll probably put it as two. Uh, hopefully, the duration is pretty long. But yeah, that's Heat Stroke. Everlasting Hunt. Basically, this is a revive, like Rising Phoenix or Summon War. Uh, Summon Phoenix. Sorry, Rising. Uh, Rising Phoenix and I think wait, Resurrection. Sorry, my bad. Resurrection. So basically, you hit it right before you about to die. 
like right before you're about to die. And then if you die within the duration of the spell, it will resurrect your dragon for a little bit of HP. I'm not sure if it's 100% or like 70 or 40%, one of those. And then it bursts out damage. Now, if there's a red mage there, the damage, and from what I can understand and like my knowing of the game, if there's a red mage, that damage will not hit <clears throat> any of the towers there but you can use this spell even if there is a red mage to save your dragon because red mages do not block the usage of spells they only block the damage that those spells deal unlike blues which you can use you know <clears throat> like uh for example when thunderstorm used to be a blue spell you could use it and it would deal damage even if there was a blue mage but you couldn't use blue spells if there was a blue mage there if that makes any sense and then you have fire flak resist which is definitely not the worst resist. I mean, they do a insane amount of damage, so I'm not going to complain whatsoever about that. That and Dark Flak Resist are the two best resists in the game, for sure. Alright, <clears throat> this is the one that I know a lot of people are curious in. Whit. I'm going to say Whit for now. So, here is the Mythic Warrior. Explosive Angie. So, basically, this is like an Empowered Spell. What, it, what Empowered Spells do are you can... <clears throat> no, I don't want to quit recording. Basically, you hit it once, you hit the spell once, and it puts up this shield that reduces the damage that you take. And you can hit it again. So, okay, so you hit it, right? And if you hit that spell again while you're, the spell's on, like the duration is going, it will explode and deal damage to nearby towers, <clears throat> as well as it will put on marks on towers that basically increase the amount of damage that your dragon will do. So it's kind of like in the first... Uh, shot of what's it called? Crumble the dust. You know, you you put out crumble the dust, and it will weaken towers. And the second cast will completely destroy them. That second cast, sorry, the first cast of that um, crumble the dust is like the second cast of this Angie's. I think I just made that really freaking complicated. Oh well. <clears throat> so yeah, I think it's not a bad spell. Um, it's interesting, but it's unique to this dragon. Then you got Blood Fury, which is on the Star and Wydrian. Um, basically it. It's one rage, blue spell. It immediately gives you two rage back, so you gain that rage. But also, every single t tower that you kill, while this spell is going, you get a little bit of health back. And it definitely helps um, keep your dragon alive, but also provide that rage, which is really, really nice. Now, Lightning Storm is basically, it was on Sage, I believe, uh, but it's just the same thing as Thunderstorm uh, deals damage, except this one is white, so you can use it. I think that's really... I don't want to get into it, but I think this warrior will be actually quite decent. I'm, I'm interested to see how well this guy does. Um, and then, of course, you have Dark Flak Resist, which is definitely not too shabby at all. Again, the best two resists are Dark Flak and Fire Flak, undebatably. So, yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was mostly just some um, you know, information on the spells. Check out the video I'll be uploading right after this one for uh, my opinions. You'll be seeing that very shortly. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.